Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today's word is books. Now, I'm taking uh, five books and five graphic novels with me to university, and that's sort of what this uh, video is based on. The five books I'm going to take uh, are all a mix of genres. Um, there are some young adult, there are some autobiographical, <laughs> um, there's a book in there called Departure, I think it's called Departure, uh, that's based on quite literally the um, the phrase never judge a book by its cover. So I have a habit, I had a habit, I haven't done this for a while, of buying books and sometimes I buy them purely based on the cover or on the outer design of the book. Um, and it's only really hit me, it's really only bit me on the bottom, I suppose, uh, once. And even then, it wasn't a terrible book. Uh, I believe it was The Last Summer of the Death Warriors, I think the book was called. Um, so what I used to do when I was a, a little bit younger, I used to go to Waterstones. And whenever I'd go to Waterstones, sometimes it'd be um, WH Smith's or, or Asda, I was going to say Amazon, <laughs> um, or Asda. Um, but what I'd do, mostly be Waterstones, and I'd go in, and any time I entered a Waterstones, it would always be one book. I always have to at least buy one book. Sometimes it'd be two, three, more. Um, I mean, I've been in there and spent a lot of money before. <laughs> um, so uh, I'd, I'd always pick up and at least one, always pick up at least one book. Either one I'd researched on YouTube, heard about from a friend, um, picked up the back of, picked up and read the back of, and thought, you know, this sounds quite interesting. But every now and again, I'd pick up a book that I just would know nothing about and would just go from the cover and last one of the Death Warriors was one of them Departure is another one of them I've got one over there called Spiders um, that I specifically bought because of the the cover-ish in fact just because it's right there I am going to find it and show you what I'm talking about um, mostly because of this uh, the way it was closing in and there were spiders coming out of it there and there um, so yeah mostly because of that uh, but it's the second one in the series, which I already knew. Please go back in. Or don't. I'll sort that out later. <laughs> Can you tell that was completely unplanned? Um, uh, just because of that design, I was like, this seems like a really cool book. There was a book before it called 13, which I have read on the Kindle. And I've got that one too. For some reason, I'm not taking it with me. Um, I'm going to swap out one of my books, actually. I don't know which one yet. Maybe I'll just take six. I wanted to take five books, five graphic novels. But maybe I'll take six, because I've just realised there was a book over there that I wanted to take with me. Um... The reason I'm taking five specific books and graphic novels, you may have noticed then, I have quite a few books over there, I have more books in my cupboard over there, and I always struggle, and I've got a load of graphic novels, I've got like a shelf full of graphic novels down there. Book. That book. Draw. Draw. <laughs> uh, full of graphic novels uh, down there as well, which makes it difficult to pick. I used to have little jars, I've still got one here. Um, I used to have jars like this with paper in them. I threw away one that nearly had a hundred slips of paper in it. Um, and the plan was to pull one out and just read whatever it was. It had all my audiobooks, Kindle books, paperbacks, and it just never worked. So I gave up on that and my plan is to take, I'm taking my Kindle still. I've still got all my audiobooks on my phone. And then I'm going to take some paper books. I'm going to try and read some books while I'm away. Not assuming I'm going to have time, but we will try our best to read five books, and it's not like I've got to read them in a year, um, even if I read all five or all ten that I'm taking in uh, all three years, I mean, we'll see how it goes, and then obviously my Kindle books, audio books, audio books will be easier, because um, I can listen to them as I'm doing my work or anything like that. Um, the reason I wanted to talk about books is not just the fact that I'm taking some with me, it's uh, what I do when I read books uh, that I think is quite strange. Uh, <laughs> I, I, so what I try and do when I read a book is I try and really find the character, not just like associate with them or try and find things that I associate with that character or anything like that, but I physically try and find, physically, vocally try and find the character mentally and vocally. So one thing that does get taken away from me for audiobooks that I sort of try and read paperbacks for, or my Kindle books for, is while I'm reading a text, I'll try and find the voice of the character and speak it out loud. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel a little bit weird telling you this. I don't know if this is a strange thing, but I try. It, it's me trying to help myself, I suppose, in a career. Um, 
try and find the voice of a character. This, this mostly comes out really, it's not really paperbacks and normal books, normal books I suppose, um, that I do this with, more graphic novels. So it really started when I used to read, when I first got into reading my graphic novels, um, I would sit and while I'm reading it, reading it, I'd try and find a character. Um, or like I'd find the character, I'd read like a character, and then I'd try and find their voices, and I'd then try and follow it through. So if I was reading a Batman one, I'd read Batman, and then Alfred, and then whoever the villain was in this graphic novel. Um, I can't remember the one I was doing recently. Not even recently, the the last one I'm trying to think of. Um, was uh, probably The Court of Owls and Night of Owls. Not going to spoil anything, just in case you do want to read The Court of Owls or Night of Owls. But the, the villain in that, I tried to find his voice and then when I found his voice I sort of tried to find my version of Batman and Bruce Wayne and then like Alfred and stuff um, and how I'd voice those characters and pitch those characters uh, vocally. Um, yeah, I, I don't think many people, I don't know, but I don't think that's something a lot of people do, <laughs> which is why I've never really spoken about it, I feel like it's a bit weird, um, but it's something that I do to try and find, like, try and help myself with accents to a point, I suppose, um, different, find different characters and things, and um, yeah, um, you never know, it could help me in, in future acting roles or vocal acting roles, um, yeah, so does anyone else do that, <laughs> is it just me, um, like, I've done it a few times where I've gone, I really want to record this as just like a random monologue, like me reading from a graphic novel, so you never know, maybe that's something that pops up on a video one day, is me being like, here's here's a bit of me reading as a character. <laughs> um, we'll see. So yeah, um, got quite a few books that I've bought over the years from my weird obsession with making sure I always spend money when I go to Waterstones, which I fell out of a few years ago now. Um, but always, every time I'd go in, I'd buy a book, so I have a... a an array of books, quite a collection of books, um, that I might be adding to tomorrow <laughs> when I go shopping. Um, we'll see. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much everything I want to talk about today. Uh, if you did anything like that or think that's weird, let me know. Um, and maybe we'll see We'll see if I like upload videos of me talking like it. Um, the only time it ever um, like materialised into anything is when I was at school. Uh, we'd have like a reading time in like our form lessons, like we'd have to go and sit for like half an hour with people and as at our school, uh, which seems to be a norm now, would be like year 7, year 8, year 9, all the way to year 13. And all like six formers hated it, so we'd try and avoid it as much as we could, but on Tuesdays, I think it was, it'd be like reading time and we all had to sit there and read a book and um, the whole of my form hated it, I don't know if everyone else's did, but the whole of our form hated it, so we, I, I started collecting the Mr. Men books and I used to read them to my form uh, and this became such a thing that all the year 13s would then come and stand in as well at the back of the class. So, like, our class would be full. Our classroom would be full of all the people that were meant to be in there. And the back would all have, like, six formers stood it, listening to me read these books. Um, so, yeah, that was that was fun. Uh, and I'd always try and come up with different voices for the Mr. Men uh, or, like, the characters in the Mr. Men books. I've still got one in there, actually. It's in, in one of my drawers down there that was Mr. Daydream and Jack Millman. And that still exists in my drawer. <laughs> I might try and read that to Arthur one day um, and tell him that his dad was in a book. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, I suppose that that was a little bit of fun, and when I do it, I do do it for fun, uh, but you never know, it could, it could branch into something else, who knows? Uh, but yeah, now I'm talking about it out loud, I feel really weird, and that I feel like I'm, I'm a weirdo for it, and that's why I'm sort of rambling a lot, so I'm just going to end the video there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you again tomorrow.